Hey guys, thank you for watching another Gadget Wide production. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate a major security flaw discovered in Apple's iOS 7 security system. This applies to all of the Apple devices, um, ranging from the iPod Touches all the way up to the iPads and the iPhones. And um, this is a major bug, it's a major problem. And this demonstration is purely for educational purposes and um, it's something that the public should definitely be aware of. Um, in addition to that, um, some people sometimes buy phones secondhand, for example, on Craigslist or on eBay, and uh, there is already an existing Apple account and they can't contact the previous owner. So this video, in essence, is also a helpful tool for you to go ahead and remove that and actually assign and make that iPhone your iPhone without knowing their original user's credentials. So here is the flaw. Basically, what happens is, say for example, this phone right here was just left in a bus. And um, I walk out of the bus and somebody else found the phone. Well, once I realize that I lost the phone, I'm going to run to a computer, go to iCloud.com. I'm going to log into my account, go to find my iPhone, and I'm going to go ahead and lock the iPhone, put it in uh, lost mode, and send that phone a message saying, hey, I lost my phone, please return it at this number, so on and so forth. So when that's done, the phone is essentially... Uh, bricked. Now, an honest person should call the original owner and say, "Hey, I found your phone and give it back." But you know, um, this vol this uh, security hole here uh, makes that kind of uh, hard for the uh, original owner to get their phone back because they can just simply disable the feature and keep the phone to themselves. Basically, disable and turn off iCloud. So the way this is being done is by the following. Um, you go ahead and you click on settings on the phone. You go to um, iCloud. Now, normally, uh, right now, this is my account on here. And this is just, again, for educational and test purposes. So I do know the password to my account, obviously. But I'm going to demonstrate a, you know, a, a random false password that I don't know. So first thing a person is going to do if they steal or find an iPhone is they're going to try to, first of all, delete the account if they're aware of this type of thing. So they're going to delete the account and say, it's going to say, okay, sure. Do you want to delete from my iPhone? Yeah. Now it's going to ask, it's going to say, hey, you know what? You cannot delete anything until you turn off find my iPhone. So I and it ask for a password. So I don't know this password. So um, I type something, turn it off. Doesn't work. So I'm like, oh man, you know, what, what What can you do now? So now bear in mind that you're kind of against the clock in a case where you find a phone. Uh, but this thing, this bug is so instantaneous that um, you can do it on the spot literally in seconds. So you turn off my iPhone. It doesn't work. You, you know, there's a simple, simple, simple bug discovered that can turn this off and make this phone yours. So all you have to do is you have to go to a settings again, go into your iCloud and click on the, on the Apple ID. Okay. Now, once you click on the Apple ID, go ahead and remove the password completely and write whatever you want. Just blah, blah, blah. You know, um, click done. Now, when you click done, you're going to get an error, and that's okay, that's normal. Just click OK. Then go ahead and hit cancel. All right. Now, go to iCloud again. All right, so we are back in iCloud here. And um, press on the Apple ID one more time. And um, you're going to see a description here, which is iCloud. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to remove the description. Oops, I need my regular keyboard here. I'm going to remove the key. I'm going to remove the description. And um, I'm going to click done. All right. Now, check this out. You scroll down 
and find my iPhone is off. Unbelievable. So I can now go ahead and delete the account, delete it, delete from my iPhone, gone. This phone can no longer be tracked. This phone can no longer be, you know, attached to the previous owner. It's, it's over. It's now your phone. However, I have to state the following. Once again, this is for educational purposes only or in a case where you legitimately bought your phone and are stuck with the previous owner's credentials. So look now, I can go ahead and insert new iCloud, new iCloud credentials and it's going to go ahead and allow me to do it and actually sign in. So um, it's just unbelievable. It is unbelievable, this bug. Now, what needs to be done as soon as this is done, don't go ahead and reset the phone. Don't go ahead and restore it through iTunes. Don't do any of that. What you need to do is basically go ahead and um, put this phone on your Apple ID. So what I mean by that is you're going to need to put your, uh, your, your actual username and password here and sign in and turn on find my iPhone and all that other good stuff. Then what you're going to need to do is go and in, log into www.icloud.com. All right. And then um, you're going to have to put your phone in uh, lost mode. Okay, and restore, which means uh, basically, uh, you know, I lo it's, it's basically lo lose and erase my phone, erase the phone remotely. So you say I lost it and erase the phone remotely. That's basically what the option is. And um, uh, yeah, and once that restore is done, um, the phone will boot up again and it's going to say, hey, Log in with the iCloud account that is the one that you put in, the one that you just put in, not the one that the previous owner had. And that essentially makes the phone purely yours, 100% yours for good. Now, this is ridiculous. This is crazy. And I'm just stating this for educational purposes. Visit gadget.